I think, could I wrap entirely around someone, cover them whole, then lie to them completely whilst they lay in whatever inner facade I feed them? Uh huh. I could never do that to someone. It's literally disgusting. Taking their face, their name, and their vowels to blow them through a reed all while they were lied wholly about it? Gross. If they call it a reversal of fortune when you blow bile chunks like that. Little sparkles of guts aimed away from your feet. Sometimes hurling things is the only way to get them out. That which is predestined but is not for this reason evil. Saturn, or so Grandma quotes. I continue to think. Now a little bit more. Because the trash I'm chewing through isn't what I want to eat. It's what I have to stuff in. In order to print hope of a coupon for a dream made on the back of recycled newspaper. I'll just let who I am possess myself. The act sounds more despicable than their garbage that I eat. As if any amount will make oatmeal brains any more than quick mush on a refectory table. I can't copy a real brain into someone else, unfortunately. Relax, guy, you're fine. You don't need to pretend to be someone else. It's always easy to believe that if you don't have someone else's words in your mouth, because the unseen future feels like it will end more amicably then, and not with egg on the page's face. It's always easy to believe that if you don't have someone else's words in your mouth, because the unseen future feels like it will end more amicably then, and not with egg on the page's face. But the future lands are usually based on why things are said and not what is said. I find that it's more important where you vomit rather than to whom you vomit on. Who cares when it is? The stomach churns all on its own, regardless of dexterously manual grabbling and massaging of belly. As it's want to do. Because I can see something bigger growing within me. And I can follow it like a dream using anything I can get my hands on. I must be a mammoth miscreant. Feels like if word got out about how tall my delusions of grandeur will tower tomorrow, I'd be called a monumental maverick. And truth is, all I yearn for is a day of peace and food. But monks got me drawing flares around finks behind catalog decay. Clerics got me holding money. And lords want me to cut wind without a look on my face. Dinner. If it beacon making me fake power sauce bars. <laughs>